Fort Scott versus Gulf Coast, the Shrine Bowl, the National Junior College Championship. Mississippi Gulf Coast unleashed a bevy of fine running backs in a devastating aerial assault to upset top-ranked Fort Scott 22 to 13 in the 15th Shrine Bowl Friday night at Memorial Stadium in Savannah. A crowd of 4,000 brave freezing weather and a steady second-half drizzle to watch Gulf Coast capture his first National Junior College Athletic Association football championship. While we looked uh, over the city of Savannah, the Bulldogs did the job in convincing style, bolting for 252 yards on the ground and 163 more in the, in the air against what was billed as one of the stingiest defenses in the country. The victory extended Gulf Coast's winning streak to 18 games and halted the Fort Scott string at 27. Gerald Thomas, a 177-pound running back, staked Gulf Coast to a 14-0 lead before Fort Scott got on the scoreboard midway through the second period on a 63-yard gallop by Tommy Riemann. Thomas bolted 64 yards from scrimmage with eight minutes left in the first period to make it 6-0 and place kicker Jim Beck added the PAT. Thomas scored again on the first play of the second period, taking a 33-yard scoring pass from Dinky McKay without breaking a stride. This time the PAT was blocked. We're now looking at Fishbait Miller in a pregame reception uh, put on by the uh, Chamber of Commerce and the uh, Shrine Bowl people who were sponsoring the ball game. We see Dr. J.J. Hayden. We also have the mayor of Savannah. Several, several representatives, uh, House of Representatives are there. And uh, now we have the presentation of the Balks Root Beer to uh, Fishbait Miller who uh, said that uh, he, when he was buried, he wanted to uh, take a couple of uh, root beers with him. Uh, uh, to continue on with uh, how the game went, uh, Gulf Coast quickly uh, took charge and lost uh, in the uh, third period when Big Gene Ganeshaw gathered in another McKay pass and traveled 40 yards to make it 19 to seven. Beck uh, boomed a 40-yard, 30-yard field goal to give Gulf Coast a 22-13 margin with 9.49 left on the clock. We now see the Bulldogs running on the field. And you can see by the uh, way everyone's dressed, it was a pretty cold night. Between Ganeshaw's touchdown grab and Beck's field goal, Fort Scott put six on the board with quarterback Kurt Neiman plunged one yard to cap a 68-yard Greyhound march. Steve Hall who kicked the first Pierre Tate was followed on his attempt by a bad snap from center. That was all the scoring allowed, although Gulf Coast could have easily put three more scores on the board. Once a Gulf Coast receiver dropped a sure TD pass. Again, a receiver slipped down while in the clear, and one touchdown was called back because of an offside penalties. We see the pregame warm-up here. Uh, in which uh, the Bulldogs is trying to get used to uh, the rainy weather and handling the football. Fort Scott was ranked number two at the time was a, and uh, upset Mesa College 41-20 in the Shrine Bowl last year and was a solid favorite. But Mississippi Gulf Coast proved who was number one without a doubt. Both schools went into the game rated number one by various polls. It was evident from the start that Gulf Coast was keen on Fort Scott's Freeman who shot at four records and tied another in the 1970 game. The little speedster only got 182 yards and 22 fr carries Friday night, but wasn't allowed to get loose after he broke the 63-yard touchdown run. Captains for the ball game we see here was uh, James Dinky McKay and John McDougal of Gulf Coast. Uh, Fort Scott won the toss and elected to kick off, and the Bulldogs elected to defend the goal with the wind at their back. So we came out in real good shape with the corn toss because we had the wind at our back and we also had the football. LaVaughn Hawthorne returned to kickoff here and uh, sets the stage for the uh, opening play of the championship game. Hawthorne takes a pitch from McKay and gains 13 yards. Pitch back. McKay pitches back to Larry Benefield, who gets no gain. Another motion. Hand off to Gerald Thomas off tackle. Loses two yards. Bulldogs. McKay sprints to the right. Throws deep to LaVon Hawthorne incomplete. Fourth down. McKay's back to punt. Handles a low snap real well. Gets the punt away. 
37 yards. Good coverage by the Bulldogs. Pitch to Reeman, quick toss. He breaks around in for nine yards, tackled by Johnny O'Brien. Hand off again to Reeman, offsides Fort Scott. Bulldog, no, off Scott sides Gulf Coast, illegal motion, Fort Scott. Play goes over. Hand off again to Reeman, picks up 14 yards, tackled by Pickage. Hand off to Hunter, the big fullback. Stop for no gain by John McDougal. Jerry Brown jumps off sides for the Bulldogs. Hand off to Reeman. Tackled by Pickage. Hand off to Scott. Tackled by Foxworth. Hall punts for Fort Scott. Short punt, not handled by the Bulldogs. Scott Borden or LaVorne Hawthorne. Safety man. McKay on a play action pass. Throws deep to Hawthorne. Overthrown. McKay on a play action screen. Hits Thomas. And Thomas goes 35 yards before he's run out of bounds and gives the Bulldogs good field position. Motion by Willie Sims. Draw a play to Gerald Thomas. Breaks one tackle, turns on the speed. 64 yards, Gerald Thomas. First touchdown scored. Great run, great, great play execution. A look at the Bulldog cheerleaders as Jimmy Beck kicks the extra point. 7 nothing. Beck kicks off. Got a win at his back. Kicks deep and out of the end zone. Neiman was the quarterback for Fort Scott. Good pressure by Pickage on a blitz. Loss of 12. Neiman on an option play. Hit hard by Melvin Morgan, the strong safety. No gain. Third down. Quick toss to Reeman. Lawson misses him. Holland and McDougal make the sack. Hall punting out of the end zone for Fort Scott. Scott Borden takes a punt. Returns. No gain. Gulf Coast good field position. Gerald Thomas is in motion. McKay sprints to the left. Draw play to Sims. Quick feet. Good running, Sims gets three. McKay on a keeper play, no gain. Benefield in motion, play action pass by McKay, strike to Willie Sims, drops the ball wide open, could have been six. McKay now punts. Good punt, good coverage, just barely missed a uh, Stopping it inside the five-yard line. Ball comes out on a 20. Handoff to Reeman. Stop for no gain by McDougal. Option play. Neiman keeps. Tackle by Melvin Morgan. Laverne Hawthorne. Down. Here's a cross buck to the fullback Hunter. Gain seven. The famous Bulldog defensive shift. When Fort Scott shifted, so did the Bulldog defense. Reeman on a quick hit and play tackle by Foxworth and McDougal. There's the shift. There's a defensive shift. Neiman the quarterback. Reeman on a trap up the middle. Morgan comes up, misses him, tackled by the cornerback Laverne Hawthorne and John McDougal. Bulldogs pick up a penalty here against Fort Scott. 15 yards. Clipping. Bulldogs in good position here. We had a fumbled handoff on the exchange, and Jerry Brown 
of the Bulldogs recovers. McKay on a handoff to Thomas, gains two. Second and eight. Willie Sims in motion. McKay fakes the draw, rolls to the right. Good block by Harold Holton and gains 10. The Bulldogs were executing real well offensively in spite of the fact that uh, the field was wet. Uh, we were alternating ball balls. We had four different balls we were using for the game. We picked up a penalty here after the play. Uh, they gave us a first down and uh, clipping penalty. So this, this made it first and 25. McKay on a play action screen again to uh, Benefield, who did a good job there gaining eight yards. Thomas in motion. McKay sprints to the left. He's throwing a hook pass to uh, Hawthorne, incomplete. That ended the first quarter. Score, seven, nothing, Gulf Coast. This was a great play uh, here. First play of the second quarter. McKay drops straight back, floods the secondary. Thomas out of the backfield. 37-yard touchdown pass, untouched. Good throw, good catch. 13 nothing now. Beck comes on to attempt the extra point. The ball slips off the tee, and he doesn't get any of it, and it's no good. Bulldogs lead 13 to nothing early in the second quarter. Scott fumbles the kickoff from Beck, downs the ball in the end zone, and uh, that was a good kick because he was kicking against the wind, and it went in the end zone. His Neiman again on the option. Great tackle by Melvin Morgan in the open field. As the Bulldogs shift, the defensive ends are Holland and Fox work to tackles on McDougal and Brown. Another fumble in the backfield. Kenny Lawson, the outside linebacker, gets the fumble. Puts the Bulldogs in great field position. Good chance here to blow the game wide open with a 13-point lead. McKay at quarterback. Play action pass. Trapped. On a blitz, loses 14 yards. Second down. McKay at quarterback. Thomas and Sims are running back. Draw play to Gerald Thomas. He breaks clean. Gains nine. Third down. Big play for the Bulldogs here. McKay back to throw. Throws a middle screen to Thomas. Cuts to his left. Game seven, I have to get a clip. John Jelanovic picks up a clip, and uh, we would have had the ball on the 23-yard line, take a 15-yard penalty, and brings it back to the 38. The wide receivers uh, in the game were uh, Larry Benefield, Laverne Hawthorne, and Ronnie Ostelet. The Bulldogs punted, which is not shown here, and McKay punted out on the nine-yard line. Johnny O'Brien is a strong linebacker, shifting over to the left. There's a quickie to Riemann, tackled by Pickage. Fake handoff, play-action pass. Neiman throws deep. Good defensive secondary play out of Scott Borden and Ken Bornick, third down. The shift out of the stacked offense by Fort Scott. Quick toss to Riemann, loses six. Good play by the cornerback, Ken Morley, and outside linebacker, Kenny Lawson. 
We was well schooled on a quick toss to Riemann. He didn't get anything on that play all night. Fort Scott back to punt. Good pressure from the outside by Kenny Lawson. Scott Borden fumbles the punt, picks it up, returns one yard. McKay again on the play action passes, hit Scannershaw on a crossing pattern for a big gain. Eugene Ganeshaw later, him and Dinky McKay signed scholarships with the University of Kentucky. Here's Thomas again on the cross buck off tackle. We have a ground level look at it. Thomas gained seven yards. Bulldogs driving again, 13 to nothing. Willie Sims in motion. Fake draw to Thomas. McKay keeps, gains two yards. Motion by Benefield. Trap to Thomas. No gain. It's a big fourth down play here. Uh, and the Bulldogs decide to uh, punt it. Line up in punt formation. McKay's got the fake on. He sprints left. Can't see a receiver. Decides to run it. Then decides to throw it. Gets sacked. Bulldogs lose the football on fourth down. Quick toss to Raymond. This is the big play of the night here. Borden misses him. Morgan misses him. 63 yards. Tommy Raymond. Raymond was a two-time junior college All-American running back. The year before, he gained 300 yards right on this same field in the Shrine Bowl in which they were, the Fort Scott was the national champions in 1970. Hall's extra point attempt is good. The score is 13 to seven. So the ball game becomes real tight again and uh, Bulldogs missed on several opportunities to uh, put the game away in the second quarter. Kicked an end zone down by Hawthorne Ball comes out to the 20. McKay on a bootleg pass, throws the Ganeshaw, incomplete, almost intercepted. Motion by Oslet, trapped to Willie Sims, no gain. Thomas in motion, McKay sprints to the right. This is a pass that Willie Sims dropped early. A perfect throw, perfect catch. Gets the Bulldogs out of the hole. 32 yards, first down, midfield. Hawthorne in motion. McKay back to pass. Loses eight. New play here. Uh, end around pitch to Eugene Ganeshaw. The great running tight end was a fullback in high school, and this play seemed to upset Fort Scott. They didn't know how to adjust to it. Fort Scott offsides, Bulldogs refused the penalty. Back the other way with the pitch to McGannishaw, the tight end, breaks several tackles, another big gain. Okay, now we motion the tight end, give to uh, Thomas on a cross buck, Gain six. Bulldogs pick up a delay of game penalty. The offensive line, Terry Helms was the center, Harold Holton and Bobby Socia the guards. Uh, Vernon Mallett and uh, John uh, Jelanovic the tackles. McKay sprints right, hits Benefield, incomplete. McKay fakes the draw, sprints to the right. Quick throw to Benefield. Incomplete, but pass interference called on Fort Scott. Bulldogs pick up a first down on a 30-yard line. First down, Bulldogs. McKay on the cross buck to Willie Sims. Gains two.
motion by Benefield, pitch to Benefield, good block by Thomas, good block by Holton. And Larry Benefield makes a good gain. This was another big play here. We had third and in inches. We tried a quarterback sneak. McKay fumbled the football. And there was some question about who recovered here. Uh, was the play was dead or not. I have a Fort Scott got the football, the officials decided that they got it before he was down, and the ball turned low. Another golden opportunity missed here to put points on the board. Hunter, the fullback, on a cross buck, tackled by Bornick. Reeman on a dive play, tackled by McDougal in pickage. It was a lot of Reeman left and Reeman right. Reeman on a sweep here, cuts off tackle. Gain six, Pickage on the tackle, Foxworth uh, on the assist. O'Brien shifts to the left side, Neiman back to throw. Throwing deep, incomplete, good play by Ken Bordick, cornerback. Got some help from the free safety, Scott Borden. Draw play to Reeman, running on a muddy field. Likes to break it, collared by Melvin Morgan. And that was a close one. Another step, he could have been going. It's first down for Fort Scott, and it looked bad right at this moment for the Bulldogs. 13 to 7. Reeman again on a quick pitch. Sweeps to the left. Tackle by 36, Johnny O'Brien. They picked up a in, uh, illegal motion and backs him up. Pro set. Right before the half, another draw play to Riemann. Now they were behind. The clock was running down at the half. They would, they'd rather give the ball to Riemann. Here's Riemann on a halfback pass. McDougal makes a great charge, and uh, Riemann completes the pass for a first down. Bulldogs were off sides, but they refused the penalty. The ball is on a 25-yard line, and there's just a few seconds left. Holland makes a great charge here. Skip Holland, defensive end. On a third and one, he stopped the uh, quarterback keep and makes go, uh, Fort Scott go into a field goal situation. Field goal by Hall was no good. And the Bulldogs take over on a 20, and James McKay runs the clock out with a quarterback sneak. Bulldogs pick up a penalty for a delay of game, letting the clock run down. Didn't want to handle the wet football right before the half. Uh, Halftime activities have both bands performing. Uh, it was uh, still light drizzle. There are the Perkettes, uh, 40 of them strong. All looking very sharp, of course. I know they had a good time. Uh, Sam Jones was our band director at the time.
Bulldogs second half kickoff receiving. We had our choice. As you remember, we lost the toss. Fort Scott had the choice. Here's McKay on a keep play. Gain six. Bulldogs off and running again in the second half. Benefield in motion. Takes the pitch. This is the student body left. Makes a great cut. Good hard running. And gains 14 yards. Pitch to Hawthorne. Going up. Student body right. Picks up some key blocks. McKay on a keep play. Gains 11. A measurement for the first down. McKay hands off to Sims off tackle. Gains three yards. Behind the blocking of John Jelanovic, Eugene Ganeshaw. McKay drops back to throw, and his arm is hit. Ball falls incomplete. He had Thomas wide open out of the backfield. Play action pass. Big play. Screen to, screen to Eugene Ganeshaw. Great running here. Bounces off two or three tacklers. Keeps his feet. 40-yard pass and run play. McKay to Ganeshaw on the screen. Puts the Bulldogs in front. 19 to 7. The ball was slippery. McKay fumbles it. Calls hot on it. Tries a two-point throw to Tom Farrell. Incomplete. Kick off by Beck. Kicking into the wind. Riemann takes it. Brings the ball up to about the 35-yard line. Bulldogs go to work on defense. Riemann on a quick dive play. Tackled by Lawson and Foxworth. Riemann on a sweep. Breaks off right tackle. Hawthorne misses him. But a good tackle by Borden and Morgan. Looks like Fort Scott got a good drive going here. Pickage looks like he's ready to blitz. He does blitz. Quick toss to Riemann. Tackle by Bornick, the cornerback. Sweep to right against Riemann. Holland misses him. McDougal in good pursuit. Throws him down. Four-yard gain. Riemann jumps the count. Neiman keeps the football. Gains two. But Fort Scott is in motion. Bulldogs take the penalty. Here's the quick pitch to Riemann, the one that he went 63 yards on, but the Bulldogs are ready for him this time. No gain, and we pick up a late hit. Skip Holland hitting late. 15 yards against the Bulldogs. Gerald Pickett calling defensive signals in a huddle. Fake Riemann gives the cross bucks to the fullback. Hunter picks up three. Here's the sweep to Riemann again, going wide. Cuts back. Pickage in on the tackle. Big play here. Third and one. Neiman keeps the first down. Hunter, the fullback, makes his best run of the game. Tackled by Hawthorne. And O'Brien. Neiman fakes the dive, keeps down on the one yard line. Offsides Bulldog, penalty declined. Bulldogs in a gap defense, quarterback sneak by Neiman, touchdown. Scores 19 13. Attempt for the extra points, they seem to have the same trouble we did. Fumble by the quarterback. Point out the touchdown, no good. Kicking off with the win. Gerald Thomas runs into the goal post. Kicked it out of the end zone. Willie Sims off tackle, gain six. Scores 19-13, midway in the third period. Sims in motion. Thomas on a draw play. Gains about 12 yards and he's hit and fumbles. This really looked bad at this time. Fort Scott had just scored. Bulldogs fumbled deep in their own territory, and the defense is called on to do the job. 
Great hit there by number 70. Shed Foxworth, Skip Holland. Here's Kenny Lawson stopping the quick toss to Riemann. Fort Scott shifts out of the triple I. Bulldogs shift on defense. Riemann again on a sweep. That was his favorite play, sweep to the right, cutting inside the Bulldogs' defensive end. Fourth down, another big play, down deep. Great hit here by uh, number 70, Shed Foxworth. Ball's fumble, Gerald Pickage picks up the fumble, and the uh, Bulldogs are back in business, stopping a big threat by Fort Scott. McKay on a keep. Gains five. We have a ground level picture of Fort Scott. Everybody's getting muddied up. There is Coach Seacool, nervous wreck. <sighs> Off tackle play to Gerald Thomas, lead blocking Willie Sims. Don Fredericks in the backfield now, along with Thomas. Pitch to Benefield, one of the Bulldogs' good plays of the night. He gains five. Cross Buck to Thomas, loses two. Gerald Thomas picked up 133 yards for the game on 20 carries. Bulldogs delay of game penalty. Gets pushed back five more yards. Have to come up with a big play here. Ostlin in motion, draw play to Thomas. He breaks out, gains 17 yards. Got the Bulldogs out of the hole. First down, midfield. It's a key drive here. Je Dian Fredericks off a of right guard, stopped for no gain. Quarter ends. Bulldogs in front, 19-13. And the ball game is a long way from being over. There's the shot of the uh, Gulf Coast side of these spectators. McKay again at quarterback. Fakes the sweep, throws the screen to Ganeshaw, the play that scored earlier. Ganeshaw breaks out, good game. Picks up eight. Have a measurement for the play. First down, McKay's right there on the spot. McKay fakes to Thomas, keeps, sides a keep, picks up five yards, second and five. Fredericks in motion, trapped to Thomas, picks up four. Terry Helms, the center. Harold Holton and Socia, the guards. Quarterback sneak for the first down. First down, Bulldogs. We have a measurement on the play. Harold Holton taking a look. McKay taking a look. It's the first down. Another keep by McKay. Cuts inside a tackle this time. Gains four. Motion by Benefield. Give to Gerald Thomas, off tackle. Hit hard, but gains four yards. Bulldogs on the move. Fredericks now in the backfield, place of Willie Sims. A look at the Bulldog bench. Gerald Thomas here come up with some leg cramps and uh, definitely had uh, the coaching staff worried. Coach Ferris is trying to beat him out. Uh, I think Gerald left the game for one play. Fourth down, field goal by Beck, 22 to 13. Put us in, put the Bulldogs in a position where Gulf Coast now has to score twice in the fourth quarter to win the game. We had great spirit that night. You could see the stands were fired up just nine minutes away from a national championship. 
kickoff was missed by Beck and uh, good coverage by the Bulldogs tackled the uh, return man on the 13 yard line so Fort Scott's got a long way to go so look at the Fort Scott bench those white uniforms are getting real muddy at this time. Neiman throws incomplete. Great play by uh, Johnny O'Brien. No, that was Kenny Lawson, outside linebacker, number 43. Bulldogs to prevent defense. McDougal over center. Holland and Foxworth giving a rush as McDougal and Holland putting pressure on Neiman. And the Bulldog, uh, the Fort Scott quarterback, is sacked. long now Bulldogs again in the prevent defense McDougal over center three-man rush try a draw play to Riemann and he gets about three yards looks like Skip Holland's getting a little rough there with Riemann and uh, it was a little temper flaring up there I think there was an unnecessary roughness penalty called on uh, Fort Scott. However, the Bulldogs declined the penalty, took the down. We have a third down here. Neiman sprints to the right. He's trying to throw deep, incomplete. Good coverage by O'Brien and Bornick. The Bulldogs smell it right now, smell the victory. Fort Scott comes off the field dejected. Gives the Bulldogs field position. That was a fourth down pass. Bulldogs take over, great field position. Clock's winding down. And with the score, 22 to 13, uh, the Bulldogs in good position here to uh, add to the score. And Thomas off tackle gets five yards down to the seven yard line. The stands are going wild now. McKay at quarterback. McKay on the keep. Good block by Thomas on the corner. He gains one. Here's a big play here. Benefield in motion. The pitch to Benefield. Student body left. Good block by Fredericks. Good block by Thomas. Benefield goes in the end zone untouched. However, the official called a clip on the play, nullified the touchdown. It looked like some real good blocks from this angle. However, of course, Fort Scott takes the penalty, pushes the Bulldogs back 15 more yards. At this point in the game, all we was trying to do was eat up the clock. But we would have loved to have had that other touchdown. Bulldogs in a huddle. Motion, pitch, same play to Benefield. Student body left. Benefield fakes a pass. But uh, this time, Fort Scott defense picked it up. And uh, Benefield was stopped for no gain. Harold Holton. Played some defense in certain positions, also the starting offensive guard. Comes a middle linebacker on our prevent defense. Neiman back to pass. Good rush by McDougal and Holland. Quarterback sacked again, down on the six yard line. Fort Scott calls a timeout. They missed a completed pass up around the 35 yard line. Fort Scott's got the football. This is the last play of the game. Quarterback throws the ball down dejectedly. The great fight here for the football. Harold Holton comes up with the game football and the Bulldogs go wild. National championship. The statistics on the night was uh, in favor of the Bulldogs who against one of the best defensive teams in the country had total 
yardage of over 400 yards. First down, Gulf Coast had 18, Fort Scott 10. Yards rushing, the Bulldogs had 252, Fort Scott 207. Yards passing, 163 for the Bulldogs, 49 for Fort Scott. McKay was 8 for 16 with no interception. Neiman was 2 for 6, no interceptions. On fumbles, the Bulldogs lost 2, Fort Scott 4. On penalties, the Bulldogs had S. Coach Ferris getting a victory ride by the Bulldogs. This is Coach Seacool receiving the uh, national championship trophy here from members of the Shrine Bowl Committee. Harold Holton, uh, the big offensive guard. I see LaVorne Hawthorne, I see Dean Odom. I see Coach Dillinger. And uh, this was a great moment here in the presentation of the National Championship Trophy. I uh, wish we could have got a better picture of it. There it is, right there. And uh, it was a great feeling. There's Gerald Thomas getting in the picture. Willie Sims with the bandage on his head. Uh, this was something that uh, the uh, film crew of WLX couldn't believe. I think he was like a lot of people that went down there. They just didn't think we had a chance. However, Bulldogs with a big upset, 22 to 13, went over Fort Scott. state tournament up at East at Community College. 